Learning target 3.9 says I can define and calculate the molar mass of a compound. So I think the first question is, what actually is molar mass? And I would define molar mass uh, just in a few words. I would say molar mass is the mass of one mole of any substance. We can actually find the molar mass for any substance or element by looking at the periodic table. And you can see that if we zoom in here to oxygen, it's actually listed as 15.999. So we would actually say that the molar mass for oxygen is about 16. However, as you know, we cannot leave a number without units in chemistry almost ever. So it's important to know that the units for molar mass are grams per mole. Because, once again, molar mass is defined as the mass, aka grams, of one mole, which is in our denominator, of any substance. Now, when calculating the molar mass of a compound, it's pretty simple. All we need to do is add up the total molar mass of each element. So, in this compound, Al2CO3, we have three elements. Aluminum, carbon, and oxygen. We need to find the molar mass of each of these elements in order to calculate the molar mass of the entire compound. I've already listed the molar mass for aluminum, which is in the periodic table, as 27 grams per mole. If I want to find the molar mass of carbon, I look on the periodic table, and I see that it has a mass of 12.011, and once again, oxygen has a molar mass of roughly 16. So once again, about 12.0 grams per mole. And oxygen has a molar mass of about 16 grams per mole. However, if we think back to calculating how many atoms of each element are in the compound, we also need to look back at our formula for the co uh, subscripts and coefficients. So we see that we actually have not one aluminum atom, but we have two. So we'll take our 27 and we'll multiply it by two. In addition, we don't actually just have one carbon atom. If we take the subscript of three and distribute it in the parentheses, we have three carbon atoms. And lastly, if we distribute the subscript inside the parentheses to oxygen, we actually have nine oxygen atoms. Now if I multiply these three numbers across, I'll have the total mass for each element. So the total mass for aluminum is 54. The total mass for carbon, or 12 times 3, is 36. And the total mass for oxygen, or 16 times 9, is 144. And if I add these up, I'll see that 4 plus 6 is 10, plus 4 is 14, 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 3 is 9, plus 4 is 13, and 1 plus 1 is 2. Now don't forget that we must have our units. So the final units for this answer are 234 grams per mole. That is the molar mass for Al2CO33, which we calculated by once again adding the molar mass for each individual element. Now, we're going to scroll down here, and we're going to actually do an individual example. So using your own periodic table, calculate the molar mass of the, of the compound BeOH2, otherwise known as beryllium hydroxide. And when you're done, resume the video to check your work. 
So, I knew that I had one Be atom. I have two oxygen atoms. And I also have two hydrogen atoms. So if I get 9 times 0 is 1, excuse me, 9.0 times 1 is 9. 16 times 2 is 32. And 1.0 times 2 is 2. And if I add 9 plus 2 plus 2, that gives me 13. And 1 plus 3 is 4. And that gives us an answer of 43.02 grams per mole, or D as our final answer.